Hello, if you're looking to replace your boiler and you're not sure what you go for, then I thought I'd just talk you through this boiler here, which I've just installed in this property. Now this lady had a traditional system, so she had loft tanks and she had a hot water tank and I've taken out all that and I replaced it with this combination boiler here. Now this is a Valiant, and it's an EcoFit Pure and it's an 830. So it's a 30 kilowatt boiler, so it should give her lots of hot water. This boiler also comes with a 10 year guarantee because I fitted the Valiant filter here, which gives her an extended guarantee. So that's gonna cover her for parts and labor for the next 10 years. I just wanted to add to that, that that is the offer which Valiant is doing right now. It's now January, 2022. And of course, Valiant do change their offers. So do check with your engineer and on the Valiant website to see what offers are available. Also, your installer must be registered on the Valiant Advanced Scheme and register the boiler within one month of the installation to get that 10 year guarantee. So make sure that that gets done. Of course, all reputable engineers will be doing this anyway. If you want to find out about the Valiant Ecotech Pro and the Valiant Ecotech Plus combination boilers, then I made review videos all about those two boilers and you can find those videos down in the description. So let's take a closer look at this boiler. So on the front here, we got the big Valiant badge there. There's no door on the front of the boiler, so all the controls are on display and you can see that this is the Ecofit Pure. Now let's take a closer look at the control panel. On here, we have a digital display and from here, we can access all our settings. And we need to push a button to light the display up. So now we can see a bit clearer what we are doing. Now, if we want to adjust the hot water temperature, we can do that quite easily on this boiler by just pushing the button underneath the tap. And then we can just adjust the temperature up and down using the plus and minus buttons like that. So that's pretty straightforward. And then we can go back again. Also, this boiler has a preheat function, which is called comfort. And at the moment, you can see that is turned off and that's used to preheat the boiler for the hot water. For the central heating, we can easily adjust the temperature that the radiators get to again by pressing that plus and minus buttons like that. And you can see at the moment this one's set at 65 and we can also check exactly how much pressure is in the boiler. This boiler also has the standard diagnostic settings. The S settings allow us to check exactly what the boiler is doing at this point in time. And also we can then go into engineering mode where we have our standard D settings, which you can see there. And then we also have the P settings. And then also we have our fault codes, but you don't need to worry about those because all those are for the engineers. And there we go, back to our main display. And finally, you can just turn the boiler on and off by pushing this button here, which is also a reset button. Now this boiler also has the Valiant 24 hour time switch fitted. Now you don't have to have this fitted. You could use one of Valiant's more advanced digital wireless controls, or you could use a completely independent control like Hive and Nest, or like this Honeywell T3R. But this is an older lady and she has absolutely no hope of using any of the digital controls. So we've got this nice simple time clock, which she's able to use. And this boiler is also fitted with a standard room thermostat. Again, that makes it nice and easy to use. I just wanted to jump in here and say, don't forget to check out my website where I've categorized all my videos and you can also find links to all the products and the parts which I recommend. Now let's just quickly whisk through my speed up intro and then I'll get straight back on with the review. My name is Mark Ballard and I've been a gas registered engineer for over 20 years. The aim of my channel is to help you with your central heating and your plumbing. If you find this video helpful in any way, then please give me some feedback by clicking on that thumbs up and that will also help others to find the video. If you think this video is useful, then click on that subscribe and if you want to receive a notification the next time I upload a help video then click on that bell and of course share the video with your friends and I'd like to say a really big thank you to everybody who's left a donation in my toolbox fund it's really appreciated and it helped me to make more videos which will hopefully help you right now let's get on with the video now I'll show you what's inside the boiler this is all the standard stuff which you find in every boiler today we have the condensing trap over here we have a pressure relief valve we have that heat exchanger for hot water here's the diverter valve for the central heating and hot water then we have the pump and this is a Grunfoss pump and it's a modulating pump so it would change speed running faster or slower as is needed which saves energy then we have the expansion vessel and then we've got the sump for the heat exchanger. And this heat exchanger is an aluminum heat exchanger. You can see that's the big gray silver thing at the back there. 
Now I actually prefer stainless steel heat exchangers, which you'll find in the Phelan Ecotech Plus and the Pro combination for this, because they heat up just a little bit quicker for the hot water. It has nice copper pipes, no rubber connections, and then here is the gas valve, and here is the fan on the top. Now this is the sump where the exhaust gases get blown out. Now one really great feature about this boiler, which a lot of other boilers don't have, is the flue can go straight out the back of the boiler or it can come off the top of the boiler. So with this installation, you can see I've got the flue going out the back of the boiler. So there's no flue elbow on top of the boiler, making the boiler look a lot neater and being able to fit the boiler in some places where other boilers cannot fit. So Valiant has designed this boiler so it will fit inside a standard kitchen cupboard. So you can see the boiler is 390 wide, so it will fit behind a 400 wide door. It's only 290 deep, and the standard wall cupboard is 300 deep. And the boiler is only 700 millimeters tall. Again, allowing it to fit behind a standard 700 millimeter tall door. And without the flue elbow on top of the boiler, it keeps it all looking really neat. Having said all that, we do have all the pipework that needs to go underneath the boiler. Now, sometimes all this can just go straight down behind a small amount of box work and be all hidden away. Like I've done here, I've just put a small box around the outside, hiding it away. But all combination boilers these days have seven pipes coming off the bottom of them, and they do all need to be connected, along with additional parts which do need to be installed to keep the guarantee up and keep your boiler running well. To run through those additional parts, here we have Valiant's magnetic filter and strainer. Now, all manufacturers are now asking that magnetic filters are fitted when you fit a new boiler. By fitting this, this gives the customer on this boiler an extra 10 years of guarantee, parts and labor. And it comes with this isolation valve. If you want to know how to clean this filter out, of course, I've made a video all about that and you can click on the links to watch that. Here we have a line fighter. This is a reduced scale building up on the plate heat exchanger. And down here we have an air arrester. Now this needs to be fitted if we have a water meter on the mains water supply. And finally, on the bottom of the boiler, we have the built-in filling loop. Now this filling loop isn't quite as easy to use as a filling loop that comes on the Valiant Ecotech Plus combination boiler. If you want to know how to do this in more detail, of course, I've made a video. Again, just click those links. And finally, these three fittings here, they're extra fittings which I add on so I can flush the old system out using the mains cold water and the flow and return pipes without any of the old system water going into the new boiler. Right, that just about wraps it up then. If you do want to find out about the Valiant Ecotech Pro or the Valiant Ecotech Plus combination boiler, then of course I've made videos all about those and you'll find those in the description. And if you want more detailed information about any of the stuff I've mentioned in this video, then I've made separate videos again all about that and you can find those also down in the description. Right, that's about it then. So I do hope my video has been helpful to you. If you want to watch my next video, then you can click on the link just here. And if you found my video helpful in any way, then please give me that little bit of feedback by clicking on that thumbs up. And like I said, that will help others to find your video. And if you enjoyed the video, then you can click on subscribe. And if you want to receive a notification the next time I upload a help video, then click on that bell. And of course, share the video with your friends. And if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, I'd like to say a really big thank you to everybody who's left a donation in my Toolbox Fund. It's really appreciated and it helped me to make more videos, which will hopefully help you. Bye for now, and I'll see you next time.